like an earthquake Hey guys, Tim Lazarus, No Nation, Fire Nice, whatever you want to call it, and I'm bringing you a pretty similar video. This one had about three or four requests by uh, different people, so I decided why not do it. I mean, it's pretty necessary. It really helps out if you want any uh, a good pixel on server. So, first off, what you need to do is you need to get MCPC. What this does is it's the jar that lets you play on Bucket and Forge at the same time. Get the MCPC plus jar. Uh, all you gotta do is save it to your desktop. It's pretty much instant download. Um few seconds or less like yeah through one done now hope you can't hear my parents in the background but um so create your server folder i'm just gonna call it mcpc server uh whatever you want to do i just call it that just i don't know makes it easy now first what you want to do is rename this to make it help you in the next step i call it mcpc because that's pretty much what it is you can call it server you can call it jar I don't know call it whatever you want I prefer prefer MCPC because it just helps make everything easier now and the next thing is a code this code helps you like figure out how to how much RAM you want and who can play on the server and whatnot so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up um come on mousey new text document and the name doesn't matter so I'm just gonna name it that I'm going to open up and I'm going to copy and paste this in here. I have this in the description as well as all the links. Um, so what happens is here is this is the RAM. Every um, 1024M, I guess, is is RAM and is 1 gigabyte of RAM. And if you want 1 gigabyte of RAM, that'll support like 10 people or less. And then 2 will support like 30 or less. And 3 will support... Well, that's on vanilla. So on Pixelmon, I'd say one does. How many skeletons are here? One does about five. Two does twenty-five. I don't know why that leap takes. And then three, and then it just it increases by a lot each time. And yeah, so once you have that, you want to make this whatever you named what I named MCPC. Can I record a video without being skyped? It's MCPC, because that's what we named our jar right there. Name it that. And then over here, dash O, oh, if you if you change that to false, that means people with cracked Minecrafts can join. If you keep it on true, people have to have premium, like, Minecrafts they actually paid for. So then what you can do is save as run.bat, or you can name it start.bat, go.bat, whatever you want to name it. And then do all files. Then what you want to do is save it to your desktop, or save it to, into the folder. And you'll get something that looks like this. Whoops. Uh, it looks like this. So now you got this little thing, and you're just gonna drag and drop it in here, and delete um, the the text document you just made. Now you're just gonna double click it, and what might happen is it might stop right here and not go anywhere. And all you have to do is X out and re and redo it, and then if it doesn't go again, X out and rerun it, and then it'll finally go. I just like to wait it out. Um, if you wait more than like a solid 20 seconds and it doesn't do anything, then X out and rerun it. But um, usually it'll just keep going, and it's gonna generate all your files over here. Now, let's see over here. You're actually going to get um when I get there. I don't know if I'm gonna can find any yet. But let's see. Well, actually, no. I haven't even put it on Pixel. What am I thinking? I'm sure there's gonna be some errors in there, but they're not gonna mean anything. So like the things you see doesn't really matter. Um, just stop the server. Now that it's generated all the files, and then hit any key to continue. Next, what you're going to do is take out your Pixelmon, which you can get from this website. You go to pixelmon.com slash downloads, link will be in the description, and choose which one you want, link 1 or link 2, and download it. But I'm assuming if you're making a Pixelmon server, you already have it in single player, so I'm just going to take it out of my .minecraft. So if you don't know how to get there, Windows R if you're on Windows 8, then on Windows 7, Windows key programs run, I think, I believe, dot Minecraft, and then mods. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste this onto the desktop. Then what we're going to do is X out of that, because you don't need that anymore. And I'm just going to rename this just because, I don't know. I think I don't know if it does help or anything. I don't think it changes anything, but I just like having it, not having that copy. I think it gives it like the correct feel and before you can't just drop this one in you can but it doesn't always work this is the problem where people have where pokemon don't spawn now 
what's going to happen is you're going to take this. If you don't have WinRAR, you just have to um, hope that you can open the file. A lot of computers now come with things that can unzip it. And you're going to highlight these two, and you can either drag them, drop them in, just don't put them into the mods folder or anything, into the actual server. So what like, I would do, since I have this, is extract the specified folder, MCPC server. So this takes about a, a minute or two, and you'll see, look at there's assets, and then PixelMod is going to be right next to plugins. It doesn't go in anywhere. What this does is it makes it so the server doesn't have to generate the files itself. It already has them in the server, and it just has to put them in the right place. This just helps. I don't really know why. I don't really know why the server can't do it itself, but that's what it that's what it helps or what it does. Um. So once this is finished, what you want to do is just X out of that. You now have PixelMod and assets. Go back into mods and drop this in. Um, next, if you want some plugins, you just go over, if you have plugins on your desktop, I have them in an old server. So I'm just going to go in here, find some plugins, and I'm actually going to take all the essentials ones. So let's find essentials. Where's all of them? Where are you essentials? Here they are. Okay, and here, 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 here. I'm gonna copy this. I'm sorry, guys. I don't. I'm getting skyped like ten times a second. This is really aggravating. I'm actually gonna have to talk about something about that. I might change my Skype or something. But okay, so then you're gonna X out of this because you've copied them. And you're gonna go over in plugins and leave that there. I almost deleted that last time. You need that. That does that. That's what configures the folders. Yeah, there. Now what you want to do because it does. If you do spawn in the ground sometime, you will. Um, the essentials comes with a 16 by 16 protection of where you spawn. Man, why isn't that? I can't get the underscore. Oh, I'm hitting control, not shift. That explains a lot. Shift 2000. Okay, we'll put yourself in the apps and save. Now, so what Essentials does, as I was saying before, is it like so you can't break if you fall through the world. And then, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna run your server. Now, because I have Essentials on it, it gives you something called the Default Kit Tools. And then what Tools does is you'll see you join in with a stone, like a stone pick, shovel, sword, and, I don't know, axe. But what this does is it actually crashes you. So the first time you play, you will crash um, if it's on any server. So that's why you'll end up removing it from a different server. But what you're going to do is you're going to run your Minecraft now. And while this is running, I'm going to show you and see if I can find the errors I was talking about. So up here, you'll see all the plugins right here. Those all generated. And let's see if I can find a Pixelmon error. Warning, mod attempted to get block ID with a default terrain generation section. This is because it's generating items that are not uh, relevant to v vanilla Minecraft. And this is a vanilla Minecraft thing, so it's not recognizing it. So there you go, there's the crash. That's what I was talking about. Um, that's because of the essentials, don't worry about that. And then you're going to click that. Um, you may actually crash twice. I've had it happen where you crash twice, twice, but not usually. Um, come on, Minecraft. Oh, you know why I'm crashing? That's why I'm crashing. I have two Minecrafts open. Well, I would have crashed anyway. But let's see if I can find, okay, so here we go. So this is not good. Please report, um, with can update title entity evolution rock that's another thing these are all the rocks pc it doesn't recognize apricorn trees it's like what's going on here there's stuff being put in here that we don't recognize it's perfectly fine don't worry about it just leave it alone now you've got minecraft you go into your multiplayer go into direct connect and join local host what this will do is it will connect you to your server and when it loads up there's crash number two Rarely do you get this many crashes. Um, if you get, if you don't put in the essentials thing, you won't get these crashes. But for the sake of my lazy copy and paste, I I might actually change it to put some other plugins just to show you a better example. But let's see if it works this time. Should direct connect local host. So here we go. Boy, you can hear in the background is actually see these cows and stuff once you kill them once they won't spawn back this is because when you first ran the server if you go back we ran it once to generate all those files sorry i didn't mean to do that it generated um the world and there was no pixel one in the server yet so that generated all these animals but don't worry once you kill all these animals they won't spawn again they will be all pixel and these things will take over the world 
Um, but yeah, so that's how you make your Pixel One server. If you want to port forward, link is in the description. Please do not ask me in the comment section, where do I get my IP? I made a video for that. Um, if you have an Asus router like I got today, or some other router that doesn't have the games and applications, please stick that in the comments of the port forwarding video, because if I need get enough people, I will make a new one, because the video requires, um, something where in the, uh, firewall, instead of apps and, uh, the, like an application button so if you need that i can contact you guys post another video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys enjoy your wonderful servers and uh let me prove that essentials is on here you can see my name is red uh manuad is a working command oh i didn't manuad snowboarder owner there's no obviously there's no prefixes yet because i haven't made it yet but yeah so that's how you do it that's how you get plugins and mods so i hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys port forward and get some friends on and have a lot of fun so i will see you guys next time and um yeah i hope you enjoyed like comment and subscribe see ya